guys and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a get it all done video. We just got back from vacation, which I feel like when you go on vacation with kids, it's not much of a vacation. So now I feel like I need a vacation from our vacation. Today I have a lot of laundry to do from vacation, unpacking, getting the house in order. There's just so much to get done. I'm already stressing out about it. But I was like, okay, before we get started, we need to fuel your body. I'm having a factor meal. This one is Parmesan polenta and smoky barbecue ragu with roasted zucchini and sweet corn. I have been loving these meals so much. I think I only have one left because I've been having at least one every day, minus the time that we went on vacation. I wish I could have had these for vacation. I would have been sticking to eating healthier. Actually, I filmed something last week that I'm gonna go ahead and insert now, kind of going more into detail about Factor. I think you guys would really, really love it as much as we do. We're gonna go ahead and roll that footage now. You guys, I am so excited for this package because I have been eyeing Factor for the longest time, especially once we started exercising and working out and trying to eat healthier. At one point we were even thinking of meal prepping ourselves, but we realized that's gonna be so time consuming. And then that's when I discovered Factor. And I was like, okay, we're gonna get these pre-made meals and eat healthy while still having our busy, hectic, crazy family of seven life. A little background about Factor is that there's no prep necessary. These are meals that are already ready to go. They are ready to heat and eat in less than two minutes. There are simple, real ingredients, which is what we were looking for and right up our alley. Everything was delivered right to our door. It comes with a little ice pack that you can recycle. It keeps everything nice and cool and fresh in here. Everything is also insulated. You guys, I have never been more excited for food before. Here is the packaging and just right off the bat, grass-fed, sorry, I have paint on my fingernails, pasture-raised, antibiotic and hormone-free, no refined sugars, preservative-free and non-GMO. So let me go ahead and take these out. So we have buffalo chicken breast, that is definitely a must for me, red chili, ground beef tamale bowl. We have shredded chicken taco bowl, chive and garlic chicken, pesto salmon, and Parmesan polenta and smoky pork ragu. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan and veggie options, which include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. Your meals are always delivered fresh, never frozen, right to your door, so all you have to do is just heat them, eat, and then enjoy. Factor's meals, they can also be heated in the oven or microwaved in minutes. With Factor, there's no prep and no mess, which is what we were looking for with our busy schedules. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning, and extensive prepping so your meals come together in minutes and it also takes out the guesswork of what to make for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, every meal that I have tried with Factor so far has been so good. I have not been disappointed with any of their meals. You guys can see right here how fresh they come. This is actually the first one that I tried and I also got Frank's reaction as well because he's a little bit more picky of an eater than I am. I love pretty much anything and he really enjoyed it as well. If you guys are interested in Factor, head to go.factor75.com slash moros120 and use our code moros120 to get $120 off. Again, that is go.factor75.com slash moros120 and use our code moros120 to get $125 off. I will also leave link and information in the description. But what's also on the agenda today is that I do not have the kids, the older three, for Easter this year. They will be with their dad this weekend so we are kind of celebrating Easter today with the older three with also Scarlett and Fletcher as well so we've already had an Easter egg hunt well an Easter basket hunt this morning and then here in a little bit we are going to dye some eggs so I think I'm going to go ahead and film that and then Frank is also going to do some of the activities with the kids as well I think Nolan said he wanted to paint his sun catchers with Frank as well. So I'll kind of get not only like stuff that we're getting done around the house, but also not like a day in the life, but also show you guys what else we're up to. So let's go ahead and get everything done. At least as much as we can. I'm going to work on cleaning up this kitchen and I'm probably going to start vacuuming the floor. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but the girls for Easter this year, they got this chalk, this paintable chalk. So what they've done is they've actually marked up pretty sure the entire <laughs> the entire back patio is full of that chalk and then if you go in here you can't really see it but their little feet print are everywhere and then also this needs to be cleaned up as well so I'm gonna set you guys up and I'm gonna get to it.
right, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start boiling the eggs for dyeing. So we have 18 eggs that we are going to dye. Actually, I'm gonna put the eggs in here first and then fill it up with water. So usually what I do, because it's a little bit different than when you're just boiling one or two eggs, is you are going to go ahead and fill it with water, put it on the stove top, put your heat on high, and then what I do is once the water starts boiling, that's when I time it. That's usually how I go about boiling eggs. And usually I boil them for around, I guess it depends, 11 to 13 minutes. All right, so earlier this morning, I went ahead and started our laundry from our trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the dryer. Then I have these lovely sheets to wash. Some of them are from the air mattress that I had to take with us on our trip for all the kids to sleep in one room. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash those. Fletcher had an accident on his sheets this morning. <laughs> I'm not gonna even go into detail about that, but I definitely need to wash those. And then Scarlett also had an accident as well last night. So we have a lot of sheets and blankets that need to be washed. This is probably gonna take, if not two, maybe three loads of laundry to do. Our washer. Oh, that would be from me. A screw. I wonder where that comes from. <laughs> it was really cute while I was getting ready this morning. Scarlett and Harlow, they, I, well I think it might have been more Harlow, but Scarlett was kind of helping a little bit. But anyways, they both made the bed. Even the pillows, everything. She made the bed, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I like how like all the pillows are slanted, but she did really good. I'm proud of her and it was really cute. So we have this to unpack, which is Frank and I's suitcase. By the way, this nail looks so pitiful, it broke on vacation. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> At least, well, you know, if you cover up the rest of them, it looks... Maybe I'll cut down the rest of them, I don't oh, know. No, don't go. So, currently washing some of Scarlett's sheets. I have to wash the comforter separately. Um, but this was Harlow's, Nolan, and Fletcher's suitcase that I have to unpack. Scarlett and Aria shared a suitcase. And then, this is kind of where we've opened all of our Easter baskets. I'm gonna go through all the trash and throw away the stuff that obviously look at this they had little hatchimals they broke open the eggs so i had to clean that up got some chocolate wrappers over there I'm gonna go ahead and throw the grass away so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now frank brought me a trash bag i don't think anything needs to be done in nolan's room i just have to hang up his clothes because he can clean up his room and do that part aria is also doing the same in here aria all i have to do is just get the grass that's all i have to get and throw it away and you said you need me to wash your comforter right Yes. But do I need to do both? Wash both? Probably so. Okay. okay. First things first is I got to check on my eggs because I put these on the stove before I went upstairs. Now this is not quite a boil yet, really boil. boiling and bubbling. That's when I'm going to set the timer for, I'm gonna do 12 minutes just to make sure that they are nice and cooked. I also wanna point out you guys, these lovely upgraded knobs. Oh. Oh. Hall, what last week before we on went Amazon? On like, yeah. Yes. But we were over here trying to turn one of the burners on one day, and the whole thing just come off, and we we're like, That's "I, fine. <laughs> I was gonna say that that was gonna eventually happen because they were plastic. Yes. They're made these out of plastic. Are stainless steel. Yeah. These are actually stainless steel. So I don't think this part is made out of plastic, is it? No, it's not. Look at that. How nice those are. So we didn't mean to upgrade our stove knobs just happened naturally. Speaking of new things, I also got a new runner rug to go into the kitchen. Let's mention the and non-slip. Yeah, they're non-slip, <laughs> which is perfect because I used to have one in here before and it would always be sliding around. You can still move it a little bit, but 
not as bad as it was before but look how cute this is i told frank i'm slowly incorporating more and more pink things into the yeah, house how's that? Well, <laughs> it's just little subtle pink so pink we got the pink little stems right there i have my pink wreath right here i had to tie it all together that's barely pink that's pink barely pink i, I know I, I think i've seen this somewhere before. wait hold on hold on hold on you've seen what like where a wife wants to start changing a different color yeah so they pick a color and they just do one to see if you notice yeah and they add something else i told you that's then what i was doing else. no i straight up told and you that's what i was doing all of a sudden she's gonna be like i want a pink wall do you care Okay, I was about to say, I was about to say, if I wouldn't have pointed it out, you would never say anything to me about it. There the was knobs. one thing, huh? The knobs. I did not want to paint them black. You didn't want to paint them black, did you? But you did it. You did it to make me happy. You should also speak up because this is your house too. So I feel like it well, should be equal. I want, you know what they say, right? Happy wife, happy life. That's not true. Well, sometimes. It's happy spouse, happy house. Okay. So you have to be happy too. Well, I am happy. I'm, I get to do things in my garage. I get to take care of my nice grass. So Just I'm say good. it. You like pink too. Like That's pink. why it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. It's not like it's like Barbie pink in your face. No, it's, like it's very, subtle. very subtle. That's why I like just the the light pink. It's, it's kind of like a pinkish tan. On camera, it looks more pink, but in person, it's like a pinkish tan. <laughs> But it's beautiful. I love it. I got it on Amazon. I did have to wait a little bit of time to get it. It wasn't, I don't think it was available for Prime, but I'll still link it down below anyway. I know it's hard to tell on camera, the but the floors are disgusting. There's crumbs everywhere. Um, the kids have been in and out. Here's Fletcher's nasty high chair that we need to clean. And then they got some chalk from their Easter basket. So you can see this faint orange and pink tint all over the couch. So I'm gonna have to clean that with the carpet cleaner. Um, it's over here, you guys can see right there. So this couch, it might look clean. You guys are almost, oh my gosh, I just noticed the blanket too. You guys are always commenting about how clean the house looks. It only looks like that from the camera until you, if you, unless you're in person or looking up close, you won't see it. This is where the chalk came from. Oh my God. I didn't know they did the fireplace for you too. Yep, they did the fireplace too. Timer just went off. I'm gonna rinse as much, or drain as much hot water as I can. Um, because what I'm gonna do. Don't you have to cool? Yes. I'm gonna put uh, a whole did bunch that, of. Did a couple of them crack? Yeah, it's okay though. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of cold water in here and then let them cool down all the way. Why are you just kind of awful? Sorry, guys. egg decorating kit I got this from Target oh wow it has a lot of stuff I didn't realize it had all of this stuff so it has the tabs looks like some stickers and wax crayon that's to do different designs and then a place to let them dry on I also got these egg tongs because I figured this might be easier than like the little wired um, scooper that comes with the kits we have some distilled white vinegar this is going to make the dye extra bright and vibrant and then we have the cups they come with some tablets as well and then i also have these extras from previous years
made it after what I made. Oh, there you right. go. I think that one might have been yellow. And Ari, why don't you guys get ready for yours to do next? Oh my god. What color do you want, Scarlett? Um, that. That one? Yeah. How do I? Did you already do your egg? Probably you ready, up. Scarlett? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. How did my egg do? Oh. It's not done yet. Mm. Not that much. What? Oh, I, I think it's still doing pretty good. the vacuum going in the back because Fletcher got into the dirt in our bedroom so he's vacuuming that up now I realized as I was unpacking everything that something spilled in here so I'm trying to wipe it up as much as I can um, I think it spilled from that little um, storage thing that I showed you guys I think it came from that storage thing with all the kids toiletries so I'm just trying to wipe it out as much as I can so while that dries, I'm going to finish taking out the rest of the stuff on the side.
don't mind my appearance right now. I just got done working out. I am a hot, sweaty mess. But I wanted to update you guys on everything that I was able to get finished yesterday and some today. And then that is going to be it for this Get It All Done video. So as you guys saw, I was able to unpack everything, put away all of our clothes. My shoes were all disorganized. I just need to put these boxes back up here. I keep all my travel stuff in that box, like extra toiletries and bags and things like that. And then my bathing suits in this one. And then you guys saw me put up Frank's clothes in all of our suitcases we store in his closet. Currently right now I have Aria's comforter. I wasn't able to do that yesterday, so I washed it today. So I am currently drying that right now. It just takes a few fluffs for it to get completely dry. And then in the girls room, I put Scarlett's new sheets on there. I was able to unpack everything. The only thing I have left to do is just put up a few of their clothes. Um, but for the most part, everything is done in their room. I put all of Fletcher's clothes up. I just have a few more that I washed yesterday that I need to put up. Nolan cleaned his room last night before he went to his dad's. I put all of his clothes up. He still has got a lot of his Easter stuff out, but for the most part, his room is clean. Just did make the bed, but it's okay. And then like I told you guys, washing Aria's comforter, I just have to wash that one. Um, I don't know if she's unpacked yet or not. I see a suitcase over there, so I might go through that later. I think those are some of her clean clothes. But for the most part, I was able to get everything done that I wanted to. We were able to do Easter, dye eggs, put away or unpack everything, laundry, wash all the comforters. I'll give myself a little pat on the back. I hope that you guys enjoyed this get it all done video. I know you guys really enjoyed these videos a lot. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.